everyone, I'm Keely and this is Voice for Creative and today I'm here to show you my November makes. So I just wanted to welcome my new subscribers. You may or may not have noticed but I went over 3,000 subscribers which is absolutely incredible and if you watch until the end of the video I will let you know what you can do for the giveaway that I'm going to do. So this month I made eight things, so quite a good month. Some of those were finishing off, but I've actually got nine things to show you because one of them I forgot to show you last month um, and actually I really love it, so I want to show you that. The first thing I made was a pair of Hudson pants by True Bias, and you will have seen them if you're watching my Vlogmas videos in my uh, last kind of Vlogmas. And they're just in a navy blue sweatshirt with a slight mile to it. I haven't got them here to show you because they're in the wash. And also you kind of know what Hudson pants look like. Just a pair of jogging trousers. I have lots more planned, but they're really comfy. They fit really well. I haven't really made any alterations. Maybe a little bit on the crotch, but literally that's it. And yeah, really happy with those first of all. The first item is this. So I bought this cat French Terry from Like So Amazing. And I decided to make the Sloan sweater by Named Clothing. I feel that that fits me really nicely on the shoulders. The neckband fits in really well. And actually they're a really nice sized cuff. So it's a slightly smaller cuff, but actually a really good size. Now I have changed this jumper slightly. I have added a rounded hem. So I lengthened the jumper slightly and added a rounded hem. So I've got rid of the waist band that's on the back but I have still got the darts in so I'll just pop it on and show you. So here we go I feel like it fits me really nicely on the shoulders really like that and really love this fabric I think it's really cute so we've got lots of little coloured cat faces and it's got the it's quite fine as well but really lovely to wear. I'll just stand back and show you. So you can see the rounded hem and I've lengthened it just a touch. I could have done with lengthening it a little bit more and I will try that on my next one. But otherwise it is a really lovely fit I think. Nice, um, I really love the addition of the darts at the sides to so just take out that bulk that you would normally have here. But it's still relatively loose fitted and really quite comfortable. Um, but yeah, really pleased with this one and I have already worn it quite a bit. So I'm just going to get changed into my next make. So my next make is this one. So this is another Sloan sweater. I've used two types of sweatshirting. So I've got the grey with the blue marl and then the navy. I've just done um, with the navy cuffs to match this part and then the grey band to match the neck as well. Really lovely mix I think. And I am going to put something on the front of this jumper using my Cricut. I'm not quite sure what yet, but something glittery, maybe like a cat face or something I think would be really cute. But again, really happy with the sleeves and the cuffs. It feels really nice and snugly and warm and it feels like it fits me well. There is one massive change I made for this, uh, made to this and I will get up and show you. So I'm not entirely sure about this yet. So what I did with this is I didn't put the darts in. So I just continued down the side seams instead of doing the darts and so it's got this more kind of looser fit. Um, and I'm not entirely sure whether I like it or not. It would be a jumper for wearing kind of around the house on weekends with jeans. And actually I wear quite skinny fit jeans. So actually I think if it's a looser jumper, it won't matter so much. Um, but I do feel like it is kind of gathering a little bit. Um, so I don't know if I have like that or not yet, but it fits really nicely on the shoulders and it's really snugly and warm. So, quite pleased with that, I'm just not too sure about the extra bulk, but then that's why the darts are there, because you would remove most of this into the dark, so that's probably why. Uh, but it's always nice to play around with patterns a little bit to see what you can do with it. So I will just get changed into the next make. So this is my next make, and actually you will have seen me sew this if you watched my uh, Sew My Stash episode 4 when I sewed this jumper and this is a Freya jumper or a Freya sweater with a neckline hack so I've just lowered the neckline and I show you kind of how to do that on that sew along. Nice length sleeve, this is a really beautiful French terry from CU at 6 uh, and I got that from Lamazi Fabrics. Generally it's just a standard Freya sweater. 
that's there's nothing more to kind of say about it really love it love the color love the fabric so pleased that i made this one up and i have worn it a few times already and i'm really pleased with it so i'll just get up and show you so I've just got it as its standard length, which is actually a really good length for me. Really love how it fits at my sides and how it fits on the shoulders. I have just made a slight adjustment, which is to lengthen the back and then it kind of evened around. Um, I don't know that that's like a proper adjustment, but it would seem to work for me. And then the length of the sleeves. I did, I think I needed to cut a bit off of them. I think I added a bit. I didn't really mean to. Um, so they, well, they're fine, but like literally when I do that, it's the right length, but then it's a slightly longer when I hold it down, but it doesn't matter too much. But really pleased with it. And I will pop a link so that you can go and watch the video of me sewing this. So my next make is this. This is the Elliot T by Helen's Closet. And I took part in One Week One Pattern, which was run by Sewist Faction. And you basically uh, chose a pattern and then wore outfits with that pattern for the whole week. So I chose the Elliot T because last year I chose the Blackwood cardigan and that was fairly easy, just put a cardigan on with what you were wearing. But I wanted a bit more of a challenge to just mix up my outfits a little bit more and actually it really encouraged me to do that which was really nice. But I didn't have a t-shirt to wear one of the days with my Donovan skirt and so I wanted a t-shirt to wear so I kind of whipped this one up, it only took about an hour, it was really quick make. So raglan sleeve, short uh, sleeve as well, beautiful colour, the neck band it went in really easily. The one thing that I didn't do is I didn't hem it and actually I've stitched it at the side seams to just secure it because I've overlocked it but I still haven't hemmed it and I actually don't know that I will. Now some t-shirts you buy in shops they actually do not have a hem and it works really well and I haven't hemmed this one but actually it looks absolutely fine and actually it's a really nice soft edge for the t-shirt so I will just stand up and show you. Now this is a boxier fit tee but it fits really nicely around the shoulders and the bust I think and then it's a looser fit but I wore it with a skirt so it kind of cinched it in at the waist but really pleased and I don't think it even matters at all that I haven't hemmed it I think it actually gives a really nice finish so really pleased with this I'm going to make a few more of these because actually as a basic t-shirt it would be perfect in my wardrobe and it doesn't do that weird flicky out thing that raglan sleeves sometimes do I think sometimes raglan sleeve t-shirts have a bit of a flick at the shoulder for some reason or mine have but yeah really pleased with this and I absolutely love the colour. I'm just going to get changed into the next make. So my next make is a Donovan skirt again by Helen's Closet and I made it in a really beautiful tencel, dark tencel from like So Amazing that I bought about a year ago and I started making it at the sewing weekender but I didn't get it finished and I did make a little bit of a mistake on it I put the waistband in the wrong way but I haven't adjusted it or taken it out the one change I made to this Donovan skirt was to reduce the size of the waistband so I find the size of the waistband on the first one I made was a little bit too big for my waist and so I've reduced it by a third so I've not um, not put it in half but by a third so I measured the whole thing and then just folded over a third basically which has worked a lot better for me so I'm just gonna stand up and show you so I have got it on over my jeans so if it looks a bit bulky underneath that's why so really love the pockets this is a really nice um, denim staple I think it will work really well I have already worn it with a t-shirt but again really nice especially with a patterned t-shirt not necessarily with a plain and then with a cardigan as well really nice to be able to put my hands in my pockets the only thing with this fabric is it does crease um, quite a bit, but actually really nice relaxed fit, elasticated waist, I think it works really well, really like the feel of it as well, like loose fitting, it makes me feel quite, um, what's the word, just a bit more laid back and just go with the flow type attitude, but really love it, I did this one knee length instead, which you can't see, but it, it is knee length. And I added a label in the back as well, which I will take the skirt off and then I'll show you. So I just popped this label in the back, which says perfectly imperfect. And I got those from like so amazing, but they are a, Ky a Kylie and the machine label. And that's just the waistband there. And you can see that's the shortness. So it comes about knee length on me, but I thought it turned out really well and love this pattern. Definitely check it out for a simple skirt pattern. So easy to make, but also really easy to wear. And actually you, everything's really refined on it. 
So it's a really lovely pattern to make um, and I definitely, I've already cut one out but I definitely have plans for a few more, maybe some winter versions that I can wear. So love that one. Then we've got my Yanta overalls. So I started making the Yanta overalls when they first came out and I chose this really beautiful fabric. So sorry it's a bit creased because I've just got it out of the ironing pile but it's this really beautiful needle cord and from like so amazing and she actually still does have some in stock which I will link below for you. Um, really beautiful fabric and I made the Yanta overalls and they just did not fit. Now Helen's Closet Patterns are drafted for a size, uh, not a size, uh, height of five foot six. Now I'm five foot four and I think that's where I made my first mistake. I should have um, adjusted at the waist so those the, that extra height I should have adjusted to account for that and basically I think the issue is is I need to shorten it and when I had it on if I pulled it up at the uh, front and pulled it up at the back then it sat in the right place the pockets were in the correct place but what I was finding is the crotch was slightly off so I feel like I need a bit more room in my bum then is allowed in those patterns because um, it is loose fitting but when I was sitting down I was like getting dragged back like this so I need to kind of think about that but I was really worried about wasting the fabric so I unpicked the side seams and the front leg seam and then I basically hung it on my mannequin joined them together and then stitched along and turned it into a pinafore instead so I'm really pleased I managed to save it I added in a little label contains cat hair with the little ginger cat although I could probably get the black and white cat ones now as well for Kiki a black cat so I added that those are from Pink Coat Club and I will link them below I've just got standard green cotton lining and I have just overlocked on the inside as well the buttons I just had in my stash and I did do buttonholes on it, but they're not actually uh, buttons, buttonholes. The buttons are just stitched on. But it does look like a real button because I've done the buttonhole. I just couldn't face um, stitching through. Yeah, I was trying to stitch it on and I just didn't think it was going to quite work. So I just stitched them on, but I can lift it over my head just fine. So I'm just going to pop it on to show you. So it, is a so it is a little bit creased, um, but love the pocket detail here. So it's a V-shaped pocket and then where it cuts in at the sides and then the buttons. I think it works really well as a pinafore. But I kind of do wish that it had uh, pockets for a pinafore. Then it's got the pockets at the back, which are a bit crumply, but pockets at the back, they're sitting in the right place. And then I wore it on the day with this T-shirt. The only thing I have found with this is that um, it drags on my t-shirt a little bit and I think what I should have done is I could have done the other half of the straps in like a silky fabric um, and then I wouldn't have such a problem. It's not really the fabric's fault, it's more just a, like pinafore error. So just consider that if you're doing this, a pinafore out of this fabric, like it is gr quite grippy like uh, velvet and cord is so I would just consider um, actually doing a lining on the inside even the cotton would be fine um, just because it does kind of pull the t-shirt about just a little bit but otherwise really pleased with it glad that I saved it rather than just having a garment that I just threw away because that was what I was going to do with it but actually really pleased that I did this with it instead and I will show you the next thing so this is my next make and this is a Elliot T hack or Elliot sweater hack and I made it out of this really beautiful French terry that I got from Pin and Sew uh, I think last year maybe the year before and so it's basically exactly the same except for I've lengthened it and then I've added ties in so I have already done this hack before but I did made a few changes to it this time. So I will just stand up and show you. So just see the fabric. So it's like purple blue, really pretty with the pink flowers and almost a gold touch to it as well. With this, uh, I basically, let me undo the ties. So I literally lengthened it and actually the pattern I used to help me lengthen it was the Freya dress pattern. So it's got a bit of shaping here around the waist and then it kind of flounces out. So it comes into about knee length. And then what I've done is taken inspiration from the kilo wrap dress and sewn 
kind of pleat style darts in the back and then I've sewn the waist ties into those and then what I do is just wrap the tie round and then secure them at the back so then I've got the two wrapped over at the waist and I tried to flatten them out but it actually looks I think better if you just kind of gather them together um, I have however placed the waist ties a little bit higher I could have done with having them a little bit lower uh, but you know it's one of those things it, it is all right still and that just brings it in but it's super co comfy and cozy however it's almost a bit too warm now I'm not sure with this one whether I'll get more wear out of it if it was just a jumper so I'm I I don't know I'm a bit unsure I don't know whether to take the waist ties out and lower them or just take them out all together and sew the waist tie together as a separate belt piece but I might be making a little bit of an alteration to it just because it's not quite what I want but I still really like it it was perfect to wear for one week on pattern it is really cozy and comfy yeah just maybe a slight minor change so I'm just going to get changed into the last make so my last make is this one so this is the Shelby dress by True Bias and you will have already seen this I did a review video of it which I will link for you as well absolutely love this dress this was a test version and I've got loads of fabrics that I want to make for a second version so I found that it fitted really quite nicely on my bodice and around my um, shoulders there was a little bit of looseness here but I think that more comes from just the general fit of the dress and I will just stand up and show you so without the ties that's what it's kind of like um, really love the buttons it is a slightly no lower neckline but absolutely fine with a top underneath and what I could do potentially was take up the sides just a little bit if I wanted it to be a bit higher up or kind of draft it to come round a little bit more then you've got the ties that feed into the back of the dress so you can pull it in and just tie them at the back or you can bring them round if you wanted and tie them at the front so there's a few different ways that you could tie it uh, but really cute dress, really nice and flanks. It's got a really lovely skirt to it, really like girly and comfy, but also enough room for you to move so there's not, you're not really restricted. Uh, but again, watch the full review video and you'll see um, some more information and things about the pattern. But yeah, really pleased with that. So last but not least, is about my 3,000 subscriber giveaway. Now, it is absolutely incredible that I've got to 3,000. I can't actually quite believe it. And already it's going up again. And each time um, I get to kind of another milestone, I just think it's absolutely incredible. So yeah, I can't quite believe it. So the giveaway, I have bought a 25 pound voucher from Like So Amazing. And so that is what I'm going to be giving away. Absolutely love Sarah's shop and really love to support her as a small business as well. And so what I'd like you to do to enter the giveaway is to comment below and I would like you to have a look and tell me what fabric from her website you would like to, what you would like to buy and what you might make with it. And then just comment that down below. So next Sunday, I will have a look at all the comments, I will pop them into a spreadsheet and then find out who is the winner. I will then comment back on that, um, just getting you to email me because you're the winner. And I will announce it in a video as well. And then hopefully you can email me and then we will get that set up. So you just need to find a fabric on Like So Amazing website and then comment below with what that fabric is and what you might make with it. And then you will be in for a chance although this isn't a requirement if you were to subscribe because you liked my videos that would be fantastic as well the last thing is is i am going to set up a ko-fi account and that is to get just get a new camera i've been filming my vlogmas on my new phone but it's not really suitable um in terms of just like storage and things like that so i do want to buy a proper dedicated vlogging camera and especially one that has a screen that kind of points backwards because i actually can't see myself right now i'm guessing what you can see um so i will pop a link to that down below so if you could um donate that would be incredible and then that will, I'll be on my way to buying a new camera, which will make the quality of the videos much better. And it also means that when I'm out and about, I can just take that with me um, and 
it just is really helpful basically uh, and it just upgrades my kind of setup I've got my lighting I've got some sound type things and the cameras the next thing because it's very quickly becoming apparent that doing it on my iPhone isn't quite good enough thank you so much for watching if you liked this video please press the thumbs up and subscribe if you want to hear more from me goodbye Thank you.